This week, as we think about our inner journeys, I wanted to share with you some of the thoughts about your spiritual autobiography uh, by Richard Gilbert. He talks about everyone's religious life being their own and exploring where you have come from and several of the pieces that have made up your journey. So I invite you to take a moment and think back. Think about the places in which significant things have happened to you. You might call this mapping the spirit. Your life functions in space. Where is one of those places? Call it up in your mind and remember what were the sounds? What were the colors like? If you can, remember the smell. There's a piece of your spiritual autobiography. All life is meeting others too. Who are the people who've had the greatest impact on your life? Think about one of them. Call them up in your mind as if you were sitting down together for a conversation. What is that lesson that they gave you? And experiences shape our religious faith. What were two or three experiences that formed way you think and live now. Something that helped you make a shift. And life is made of emotion, joys and sorrows. Can you remember one of the happiest moments of your life? What was happening? And two, one of the saddest. What were you going through? He closes out with communities. And sometimes all of these things are best held in community, especially joys and sorrows. Which communities have had a lasting influence on your life? Think about the fabric of that group and how it holds you. All of these things can come together and help you make a map of your inner life and journey.